in Indiana would help matters. The Hoosiers have owned the state and the series. They'd won 10 of the last 11. Coming in as we check out, those are Troy Murphy's shoes. Perhaps he misinterpreted that one shining moment song. First half, Murphy hitting the jumper over Jared Jeffries. He was shining early. Irish up by one. Time running down, game tied. Tom Coverdale, 16 points in the first half for him. Hoosiers up three at the half. Coverdale bumped, oh yeah. Early second half, Coverdale. In a big ball game, four of six behind the arc. Hoosiers up by eight. Hoosiers played some great defense too. Murphy, down to David Graves, stripped by Kirk Haston. Moments later on the other end, it's Coverdale. 30 points in the ball game, more than doubling his previous career high. Hoosiers up by 10, and they didn't let up. Dane Fife through the lane, leaves it for Jared Jeffries. The freshman at 14, and the Hoosiers get a much needed win in South Bend. IU wins it by eight, handing Notre Dame its first loss of the year. Sixth straight win for the Hoosiers over the Irish. Longest streak in the history of this series, which dates back to 1908. Kirk Haston looks fully recovered from his sprained toe, which kept him out of the game. 19 points and eight boards. Murphy held the 15 on five of 18 shooting. Another intrastate battle, Memphis, Tennessee. Second half, Tennessee up by seven. Harris Walker. Nice hoop. It was his lone hoop, and we showed it to you with that thorough. Ball's up by nine. Memphis wouldn't go away, though. Tigers down five. Kelly Wise with the lob. 17 points, 21 rebounds for him. Memphis within three. It's a five-point ball game now when Ron Slay gets fouled hard. Slay was fired up, hit his free throws. Scored six straight points on free throws for the Vols, who lived at the line in this one. Tennessee up by nine. Vincent Yarborough. The steal, the jam, he had 23, balls up by 11. And it's Paris, London. Paris, London, Rome, Venice, trying to cut into the lead. Charles Hathaway says, how dare you? Volunteers take it by 10, improving to 7-0. Defense, the key. They forced 34 Tigers turnovers. Cheney, his team's been struggling. First half, Jermaine Medley. It's the long three. Villanova, nine three-point field goals in the first half. Nova up 10 at the break. Second half, time wanting down, crazy sequence here off the miss. David Hawkins going up for the shot, but Brooks Sales there for the rejection. Wild scramble for it, comes out to midcourt and Sales runs the floor to the other end and gets the feed for Michael Bradley. That's pretty, 11 and 10 for Sales. The crowd is failing good. The enthusiasm is high in Philly as the Owls drop their fourth straight. 69-62, big win for Villanova. Medley 18, Gary Buchanan 17. Of Eastern Kentucky, first half. Keith Bogans, no. Tayshawn Prince, the board back to Bogans. Yes, Bogans had 14 in the first, finished with 21. And some pressure D from Kentucky. They get the steal. Right about there. And then Prince, the big time jam. Kentucky up just eight at the half, though. Second half. Taken over. Bogans to Eric Daniels. He had 14. And the Wildcats win it by 15. Topping former UK guard Travis Ford. He's the first year coach of the Colonels. Saul Smith 17 to match his career high. Second straight win for the Wildcats after their first one and three start in 16 years. Georgetown, Louisville. First half, Mike Sweetney. Oh, Sweetney, two of his 12. Louisville, well, they were bad. Rashad Brooks, brick. Mac Wilkinson, not the Mac daddy. Luke Whitehead's pass to no one. Benny Crumb's team, an all-time low 15 first half points. Late second half, Sweetney. Oh, Sweetney. Denny, your thoughts. Thank you. Georgetown wins to go to 6-0. Hoyas out-rebound Louisville 58-38. National championship game only this time. It didn't take three weeks to trim down a 64-team field. Other differences, no neutral site, Spartan home game. After the game, no ladders brought out the Breslin Center to cut down the nets. And each team missing two players taken in the first round of the NBA draft. Billy Donovan reinstating suspended guard Teddy Dupay. Dupay played with Team Cleves low in the title game. Spartan fans? We'd like to remind you that forgiveness is a gift. First half, a little retribution. Dupay gets elbowed by the freshman Zach Randolph. Ouch, Dupay. Hey, who's your coach? Steve Spurrier. Uh, no, he got it wrong, but he would play later. Second half, Spartans up 62-57.
And look at the rookie Randolph. One of his seven rips and the putback. Spartans up 65-57 after a free throw. And next time down, Randolph again. Nailing the tough turnaround. He was 10 for 13 shooting. Spartans up 67-59. Gators trying to keep it close. Dupe out in front on the break. Lays it in. He had 17. Gators down just a handful. But after a timeout, the shot clock winding down. Another freshman, Marcus Taylor, says, I can shoot it from far. And he does. Spartan up 73-65. And then they're sharing. Taylor, Randolph, two points. Another foul. Randolph had 27. Spartans up 85-73. And with 6-12 left, Taylor, he will show off. Spartan shot 55% from the floor, including this floater. He had 15. It was 89-76 in April. 99-83 in December. Spartans again. State makes it six straight times now. The defending champ. One of his five rebounds, bringing it up. Sweet bounce pass. Brian Cook, two of his 17. Later in the half, Frank Williams finding Bradford. Bradford likes the view. Three of his 13. His 72nd straight game with a three-pointer. One short of tying the NCAA record of 73. The Illini up 36. Marcus Griffin on D with a steal. Griffin. He also had two blocks, and he had four points, and that was two of them. Illinois wins. The Illini roll by 41. Biggest margin of victory since winning by 50 last December. Illinois now 6-2. and two. Their only two losses came against Duke and Arizona by a combined four points. Pretty impressive stuff. Number 19 Cavs looking to go 6-0 and for the first time in eight years, hosting the Bobcats of Ohio. Chris Williams, that's a good move. Give it to Keith Friel. Four of five from three-point range was real. Meanwhile, Patrick Flomo, the bounce is off Dustin Ford's head. Take a look again just in case you stepped away. Flomo just spikes the ball onto Dustin Ford's forehead. All comedy aside, Virginia wins. Actually, no one here was really laughing at that. Maybe, I'm still not watching it. Maybe back. <laughs> no, you can, you can stop hiding your okay, eyes now. You. Cavs win by 19, off to the best start since the 92-93 campaign as they turn 21 Bobcat turnovers into 29 points. All right, Brown County Veterans Memorial Arena, Jason to the Packer Hall of Fame. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Green Bay, Roy Boone, the bucket and the foul. Wisconsin up five, Boone had 15. Later in the first, Wisconsin up seven. And roughly from the same spot where I received my high school diploma, Kirk Penny hits a three, and Wisconsin's up 10. Second half, Wisconsin, Freddie Owens inside to Andy Kowski, and Happy Kowski's give more milk. He had eight, and Wisconsin wins it by that margin. 61 to 53. Badgers' first ever trip to Green Bay ends with a W in motion. Now 7 0 all time against the Fighting Phoenix. Dick Bennett's assistant, Brad Soderberg, beats Dick Bennett's assistant, Mike Heidem. At it, an on court scuffle, double T's would be issued. Oh boy. To the action. Can we sound up on that? Oh, too late. Sean Daniels feeding Tony Brown. The anchor is up and we are swept away. Brown with 18 points. Aggies up one. Under 30 seconds left. Travis Spivey. Looking to penetrate, does his shot, uh-uh, Curtis Bob. Good hustle by Bob, recovering the loose ball, calls a timeout. After a missed free throw, Utah has one last chance, down by one point. Kevin Bradley, can't find it from there. Jeff Johnson, Johnson, uh-uh. Daniels bats the ball away. Has anyone seen Keith Van Horn? Oh, he's a New Jersey net. Aggies win, Aggies win. Just in case the sound is not up, you can tell by these pictures, the Aggies win. Shocking 22nd rank Utah. As Utah State has won the last two meetings in Logan, the Aggies now 4-16 against ranked opponents over the last 10 seasons. Thursday night, Coach Roy made his first public appearance in North Carolina when he brought his unbeaten Jayhawks to Winston-Salem to face the undefeated Wake Forest team. No Kenny Gregory for Kansas. He was averaging close to 18 a game, stress fracture in his right foot. Jeff Bochy, top of the key, pressure by Joss Howard, forces the bad pass. One of many for Kansas, Irvin Murray to Howard. Career-high 21 points for Howard, 10 turnovers in the first half for the Jayhawks. Murray, meanwhile, passing to Craig Dawson. Dawson, 3 of 7 from three-point range, 20 points for him. 38-25 Wake at the half. Second half, more of Wake, shutting down Kansas center, Eric Chenoweth. Chenoweth feeling the pressure travels. 0 for 3 from the field was Chenoweth, just one point. Jayhawks, meanwhile, Mario Kinsey loses the ball. One of 20 turnovers in the game for Kansas. Dawson, 8 of 14 from the field. Wake Forest wins. Students are pumped up. Why? Well, Roy Williams suffers his second worst loss in his coaching career at Kansas. The Deeks, 7-0 for the first time since Tim Duncan was a senior at Wake four seasons ago. Kansas shooting a season low 38% and committing those 20 turnovers.
Mustang SMU. First half SMU up the Mustangs. Mike Niami gets it. Meant to do that, I think. Maybe a little lucky. SMU up seven at the half. SMU's Quentin Ross continues. Hey, you know, if you get tired of watching him, go ahead and guard him. He's in. He had 14. Mustangs by six, but still in the second half because there's nowhere to go after the second half. Ron Slade gets going. Oh, the hoop, the foul, and the wolf. There's the hug. He had 22 points in 25 minutes. In fact, he had a three-pointer, too. And there it is, a career-best 22 points. Tennessee goes up by three, wins at 85-76. They rally for their 35th straight home win against non New Mexico State, and do we have drama? Time winding down. New Mexico's Marlon Palmer drives, misses. Waylon White is there, tips it in at the buzzer, and the Lobos run all the way back to Albuquerque. They are happy. But wait. New Mexico State coach Lou Henson, KG veteran, wants the replay checked. Let's watch the replay. There it is, White's hand. Oh, uh, ball is not out of his hand. When the clock expires, the referees bring them all back out. Let's go play overtime, tied at 57 all. New Mexico's Malcolm Battle. He had a team I-17. New Mexico wins twice, 68-65. Wofford, Alabama, not really a fair fight. Alabama, freshman Gerald Wallace contributing in many ways. Wallace there for the rebound. Wallace there for the putback. 17 rebounds in the game, six of them offensive. More from Wallace in transition. He can jump high. He had a dunk, 14 points to go with him, 17 boards, tied up nine, and then Wallace driving the lane and sharing Terrence Mead for the short jumper. Wallace leads the tie to a 68-64 victory, and the Golden Gophers beat the Golden Eagles 61-59, improved to 7-1 despite shooting just 30.